Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Constantine and today I am going to start playing this really really cool game called Dicer Sphere Program where the purpose is to build that. Uh, there we go. A massive Dyson Sphere which is an artificial structure around a star and in order to build that we need to build a massive factory around the planet and in a similar fashion to how we did things for Satisfactory and other similar games like Factorio this can turn pretty freaking massive and it is amazing how nice the game is so with a lot of hours and work a planet and a game can turn into this but like I said there's a lot of work that needs to be done for that so what I'm gonna be doing is starting a brand new game to show you how everything works and how amazing it can be so without further ado let's get ourselves some Dyson Sphere so new game and we can choose which cluster apparently to go into yes well actually this, these are the stars in the cluster and we're gonna start in this one uh, so we can choose something else we can do that and this looks kinda nicer I don't know Kafa G got some yellow stars around us you know what let's uh no this is too far apart uh, this is a bit nicer cuz they're uh, closer together so we can actually reach them faster you know what let's we only got one neutron star though which is gonna be a bit problematic because uh, some resources you can only get on certain type of stars let's try this another neutron nope nope I guess there's only one neutron in every star uh, system okay okay no worries okay this one looks okay as well that's not an issue and looks kind of nice and clustered okay let's do it al G let's go So the game starts with Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Hey, got a massive star here. Which we're gonna be harvesting pretty soon. <laughs> Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Alrighty. Uh, we're not gonna drive anything, it just goes in automatically. Uh now Ah uh, no, we actually do have to drive it. Hey, okay. So this is the planet that we're gonna be starting on. And uh from the get-go it's pretty watery, so now you are about to reach the designated planet. That's not great. That's a lot of water. That's a lot, a lot of water. It's going to be a bit problematic. This 
This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right-click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. Alrighty then. So this now is... Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right-click on it to recycle. Alrighty then. Right-click. And what it does is it recycles this to you turn it the same operation into to resources such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. Uh -huh, okay. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Press an E. Shows us the inventory. We can take them, we can put them off, and we can do some other things with it. Yeah, these are tutorials that you can read in order to figure out how to use the game. You can hold down game. mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view, or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. All right. So, all of these tutorials. Now, this is a using a lot of things around here. Damn, that's a lot of water. I gotta say, not very good. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology. So. If we go in technology, this is where we have the things that we need to do to research to get to finishing the game, which we need this universe matrix, which is some sort of science that we need to build. Alright, so a lot of things that can be done in here and need to be done to get there. And also there's this upgrade thing, which is, I assume... Well, I don't assume I know. <laughs> uh, it's to upgrade the mecha and also the various things around the factory. Alrighty then. So, first and foremost, we need to research electromagnetism, which allows us to build wind turbine, Tesla tower, and mining machines. So in order to activate that, we need these magnetic coils. So in order to activate it, we need to build those. Yeah. So the inventory is here. And what we can do is the mecha panel is also here, which shows us things about the mecha. And then we've got the internal replicator, which is what we can build by hand. So like we said, we need 10 of those, yeah? So in order to build 10 of those, we need to build them over here in the replicator. And there's various components which we need to build, yeah? So for this, it means that we need two magnets and one copper ingot. Magnets are made out of iron ore, and copper uh, is made out of copper ore. Yeah, so in order to build those, we can click once and we've built a magnetic coil and then we build another and then another and another and another and we're out of the resources okie dokie so very soon we're going to be getting that research done which will allow us to build yay you've unlocked a new automatic mining machine which automatically Collects ore, yes. Its capacity is limited. Okie dokie. Another tutorial. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Yay, so we'll go to gathering. We see that we already have one in the inventory. Now, the game you can works. Use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grit snapping, 
Try holding down the shift key. Right. So, the g the game works on a grid type basis where you build things on a grid. Or if you press shift, you can ignore the grid, like the guy says, and do this. Now, the purpose of the miner is to cover as many of these as possible. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to put it right over here. And then the drone comes in and builds that. One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. That means going in here and putting a wind turbine next to it. See, whenever it's in the range, it's like a small gray dot appears. Yeah, so we do this. We're we'll building and wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Yep, I don't need that now. Or now, at, at least. Okie dokie. So, we are mining that. And the next thing that we want to be doing inside here is... Uh, there we go. It's calling for upgrades. So this allows us to view vein distributions on the planet, which requires science. This requires mecha core energy, which requires ingots. Yep, and then a very good thing that we really want is once we actually have this, is vein utilization, but we can't use any of that. So, inside the technologies, some of the most important things that we need is automatic metallurgy, yeah which is basically what we need to do for smelters this is the science matrix this is basic assembling and then fluid storage plasma control electromagnetic drives various things okie dokie so and as you can see the planet rotates and you can see it in here we are over here and this is the al qaid system and it has four planets actually five with the ice giant yeah so we don't know how many resources we have this is where you can actually see the resources and we've got iron copper silicon titanium in the actual system itself actually no on this planet sorry uh, and the other planets you can see what sort of other resources they have and some of them you can't actually <laughs> righty then so on this planet of ours the next thing that we need to do is build some more miners yeah, so in order to build some more miners so we have access to technology, we need to go in here, go to this, and we need some magnetic coils. In order to build magnetic coils, we need magnets. Magnets require iron. So what we do is we go in here, we grab this, and then we go and we build. If you have enough resources to build all of the underlying components the game will do that automatically or the replicator will do that automatically for you yeah so all you gotta do is press on it and then it builds by itself all the necessary components so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be smelting some copper as well now, I don't see anything else anywhere so we're gonna be putting it here yeah oh can do this and then we we got all of it it's good uh, other thing that we need is another one of these which requires some more of those and as far as I'm aware we're lacking copper hey what do you know what we can do is actually go in here and we can mine the copper by hand and while the guy is doing that we go to here we can see that we can already make what we need so that's good okay so in order to continue our lovely adventure 
of mining. Uh, we're gonna be doing this, yeah. So we build this guy here. It joins the power grids, and then we got copper too. Yes, sir. -y. Next, what we need to be doing is unlocking some of these things. But before we do that, it uh, probably would be good to unlock the mecha core, which actually allows us to get more energy inside here, the core energy. Because in order to fuel our core, it does it automatically at some rate, yeah? But if we put in fuel, which comes in various forms, it will replenish it a lot faster righty so let's unlock mecha core and we need to smelt those materials by hand a really useful thing that you can do in here is you can use this multiplier yeah, which is super helpful over here we can go and grab the copper and we can smelt some copper as well bear in mind that the multiplier here is product dependent so if you can put it for each product and it will stay like that you know because it has a nice memory so primary resources, it's good to just do them in multiplications of tens. Okay, so we are soon going to be doing the manual research for the core power. And the night is dark and full of terrors as always. And probably would be good to put a Tesla tower. There we go. Ah, that's a bit problematic because it will not cover both of them. <laughs> How unlucky. That's okay. We can build one here. And then you have done build building the first another power transmission one. facility. Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. Yes, sir. I shall be doing that. Oh, it's telling me there's 100% satisfaction and the research is also complete. We've increased the maximum power core. So generation right now is 600 kilowatts and this thing is actually using quite a bit when it's working. 420. So one of them. But it's good. Righty then. So the next thing that we want to be doing like I've mentioned so see you can, you can unlock all sorts of things now that we've unlocked that but we need various components for them so first of uh, the many important things that we need to research is automatic metallurgy what that does is it takes the basic materials and turns them into very good next ones so Let's activate that and we need to produce a couple of things. So we need to make some more of these. Again, do some multiplication. And also some circuit boards. Again, we're going to be doing 10 of those. So in the background, he's going to be making all of this, the mecha. And uh, it's going to allow us to do the research. The other thing that we need to also unlock in order to get there is basic logistics. So uh, this allows us to build conveyor belts and sorters and storage. Yeah, so it's probably good to build that too next. So while the magnetic uh, things are going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be collecting a couple of things, which is going to be stone. Because we need stone to do some paving later on, which is going to be really useful. And we 
you've unlocked the smelter. We'll automatically smelt base materials into iron and copper ingots. You need sorters to put the ores on the conveyor belts, right? So the next thing that we need is the conveyor belt. And for that we need some gears. So let's build some gears. can do some more things in the meantime yay we also have logistics and sorters you have received the sorter and the conveyor belt which can achieve full automation now use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Yes, sir, we are going to be doing that. So, now we can build conveyor belts. Yeah. So those need some more materials. So, first of all, let's gather some more materials. With that, let's build some conveyor belts. See, it makes three out of some of these materials, which is good. So, I will also collect some more materials. While the belts are being made. Uh, the other thing that we will need for belts is sorters. This is another important component, which I will show you how it works. Yeah, and then we need some storage. Let's build a few of these too. See, the whole queue gets in here and it's pretty insane. And then some arc smelters. We need to gather some more materials for those as well. You gotta be in range in order to grab some of these. Okay, let's build a few of these too. Okay, so this is gonna have to be built manually in the fabricator of the mecha for now. Because we don't have automation to the level of what we need to do. Yeah, because what we need to do now is we put in conveyors. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, Use the up arrow key to lift yeah, up buddy, one level I know. and use the down arrow Relax. key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad 0 to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Alright, so what it does, you just click and the drag. Yeah, you click, you let it, and you put it wherever you might want to put it and then you click again and we will do it and right click closes it right click usually closes you out of pretty much everything you might want to okay so we have this thing now the next thing would be to build some arc smelters yeah way you can do this is we can do them like here and what I tend to do most of the time is to build them uh, in sort of layers and patterns and this will help later on so we can build one here and we can build another one here you built a smelter which can and smelt then basic another one materials here. such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously yeah whatever right so you click on the smelter and you choose the recipe and in our case because we're bringing in iron ore we want iron ingots when it's a one-to-one -one, yeah iron after ingots. selecting the recipe you can use the less than key to copy the recipe yeah whatever it's so basically what this guy means is that you go in here you don't necessarily need to go in there. you just press the less than copy recipe and then you right click and it does that yeah so the next thing is to build some more of this so 
what I tend to do for these is I do them on the outside yeah so I do this actually no I realize that I need a I don't have splitters though okay so that's something that we will need to do later on uh, so for the time being we are going to demolish this guy and we're gonna put putting things in here yeah so we put things in here like that and we're gonna be doing another thing in here another smelter and we have ran out of power which is not good because we're making things so we need to put some things in and the power is gonna come from this the hydrogen fuel rod yeah so in here these guys what they're doing is putting things yeah and then what we need to do is we need to bring the, the materials sword is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities it will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged yeah so the basic sorters do one and a half trips per second see that they're actually telling you if you do them at a higher at a, at a longer distance they're gonna be slower so we need to put the conveyors as close to the facilities as possible yeah and then what we need to do is we need to power them because they're not powered so for that we need some more tesla towers because they're probably the best So, with the Tesla Tower now in place, uh, we can put it over here temporarily to power these facilities. Okay, so the problem is we're not producing you enough power. Recipes. Yeah, and you have a building without. You have a building without. Re Whatever. So now we are actually making the iron ingots. So the next good thing would be to take the iron ingots out of the facilities. Put them on the conveyor. And from there we can put them in a nice storage facility. Yeah, so the storage facility the storage, which can be used to store cargo. So you can put stuff in here manually, like that. Or you can put things automatically in there using another sorter. And the really nice thing is you can actually select what's the capacity of these. So you can make it up to 30 slots or just one slot. So if we go back to here and we put things from there and there, you will see that the thing is not powered, which is amazing. That's fine. We'll just put it in here and you can see that it's powered here. Uh, and now this thing is taking the materials and putting it in storage, which is great. So here we have our first automation of production inside of Dyson Sphere program. So we're gonna take a break because uh, this has been really cool and uh, next time we're gonna continue doing some more of this. So thanks for watching. If you like the game and uh, what it's like uh, please uh, interact, like, subscribe, and let me know so I can continue playing it and show you guys what it's like. So, see you next time.